Oh, you see that? A little coyote. One thing I like about this route is when you get to the top, there's a lot of, um, or at least usually, there's a lot of wildflowers. And that's always very cool for me. I love seeing wildflowers and the views when you get up high and the feeling of freedom. I like the high spots. Oh man, you can't smell what I smell. It's great. It's so sweet. All the pine and firs. Yeah, it looks like maybe the flowers will be in bloom up there. Hopefully I haven't missed it. Every ride is, uh, is different, isn't it? You know, every route has got its own character. This one in particular, I, if I had one word to describe it, I'd, I'd say pretty. It's, it, it's just that, it, it's pretty. changes all the time but it's always close in on you until you come out to the open areas up top and then there's all those flowers sometimes lining your way almost like they were planted just for you well here we are up top and I haven't been here for a couple of years and uh, seems to have changed. Of course, the uh, brush on either side is taller and the flowers aren't out as much here. Usually it's just covered in fireweed and those white daisy-like flowers. With a nice view there. Can't argue with that, eh? Well, that's a pretty cool view, huh? It's worthy of a picture, I'd say. Do you like my $10 tail bag? I got that from uh, Amazon, a Chinese firm. Yeah, 10 bucks, sent from China. Got it within two weeks. Holds everything I need, you know. First aid, some tools, a rag, whatever. And I got my bear spray strapped there so I can pull it out if I need it. Never have yet. But it's good to have these things just in case. Because there's a lot of bears where I live. Just one incredible view after another, isn't it? This route is... Uh, called Terrace Mountain, Maine. Called so because it is right near Terrace Mountain. And uh, you went further down this route to join up to, I think it's called Esperon, Maine. You would then find a little side route taking you up to the summit of Terrace Mountain. I came up here once with a buddy, and uh, if you can believe it, he was on his uh, 1979 Honda CX 500. I know a way, <laughs> but uh, he had a blast. There's some whoops coming up uh, in a while if they're still there, and he got some air on those. I'm not sure his bike appreciated it, though. I think there was a couple loose parts after. I tried to talk him into getting a dual sport because he enjoyed it so much. But uh, to date, he hasn't. Well, we got to stop here. There's another view and a half, huh? Pretty gorgeous. 
And there's another decent view of the lake area. That's pretty cool too. Yeah, you can see why why I like coming up into these areas around here. I mean, they're just so pretty. Yeah, these are the these are the dips that uh, my buddy got a bit of air on on a CX. Well, that's ambitious. You see a lot of guys taking their mountain bikes out around here, but a lot of them will go downhill mountain biking, eh? I think that's the first time I've seen a cyclist up here. Well, it is the first time. We got the flowers lying in our path again. I think pretty soon is my turnaround point. It's after these uh, dips, the route gets less interesting. So I see the fireweed is out here. And look what else I see. Oh, yes. Can you see that? That's called a bunchberry. Mmm, delicious. Nothing like a wild berry. <laughs> oh yeah, well that's different. That wasn't, uh, that wasn't, I mean I'm going to say wasn't there before, but of course it was. I mean it had to be, but it, it looks like it's about five feet at least deeper, that, that little uh, dip, big dip. The camera probably doesn't uh, do it any justice, but that's pretty frickin' steep. And I'm not gonna go down there and up there because about a maybe a couple hundred yards further is my turnaround point. So not much point of risking this. What's this? Is this a, a way round? Oh yeah, it must be. Yep, it is. But like I say, no much point going there. Because I'm going to turn around anyway. Lots of free range cattle around here too. I remember a, a friend of I, a friend of mine and I were up here on our 250Ls. And uh, we were just a little further up there, past that uh, point that we just saw. And uh, there's a bit of a clearing and a, a dip down into the valley. And we were standing up there and enjoying the view when this bull 
wanders through staring at us, making a beeline for us. And he was going quicker and quicker. He was just focused on us. <laughs> and uh, I suggested, well, let's get on the bikes, you know, just in case. And uh, the bull comes into the clearing and he's acting all aggressive. And, and my buddy says, oh, get off your bike and stand in front of mine and I'll take a picture of you with the bull in the background. Uh, I thought, oh no, uh, I don't think so. That's not gonna happen. Yeah, that bull didn't want us to be there. He says, this is mine. You guys get out of here. Now there, there is a view. Wow. I live here, but I'm always amazed at how beautiful it is. Never gets old. Okay, this view is for my buddy Keith, who has been up here with me, and he likes to come across derelict cars. Seems to me that's been pushed off the, out of the way a little more since, uh, since I've been up here. Hmm. Well, there you go, Keith. So we're headed back now. But it was, a, it was a good ride. I enjoyed it. Like I say, I haven't been here for quite a while. So I'm glad I came up again. And uh, I'm going to say goodbye in the video here so thank you for coming along and i hope you enjoyed some of that you ride safe take care have fun and i'll catch you in another one <laughs>